So Affinity is now officially part of Canva and everyone is talking about it, but there's a particular feature that amazes the name, which is the image trace. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the image trace right inside Affinity. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So first of all, we have the vector workspace, we have the pixel workspace, and we also have the layout Canva AI. Here the CS vector then you come over to image trace and next set the edge threshold to the maximum that's here before and after i'm going to click on ok so you can see here that this isn't that perfect so the second way you can do this is by using the canva ai which you need a canva pro account to access it I'm going to click on Canva AI, then go over to so Super Resolve. So here you can see what we get. Though the document size is small, I'm going to set this to the highest, and you see the results we get. So I'm going to click on Apply, so you can do it before and after. So this is before and this is after. So click on Apply. Although you can't edit the element inside, and for you to edit the element, we just come over to the same image trace and then click on apply. Image trace, the threshold to highest. Let's see how before and after. Now click on OK and we can edit some elements inside of it so well, let's try out the second image we have so this is the second image you have so i'm going to scale this up okay, so i'm going to come over to the vector side drag this a little bit and come over to the vector and try the image trace okay so you can see the results we're getting I need to take this to the maximum, reduce to where's this? So we we'll click on apply. So here you can see it, the result we get. So you can edit the element inside and edit it. Click this here and play around with it. We can see we can take this element here, play around with it, and so yeah, you can see here we can also change the color of this. You can change the color. Yeah, so let's try the second method. Let me undo this. So let's try the second method, which is with the Canva AI. And let's go to Super Resolution. For this feature, you need a Canva Pro account. So you can see the before and the after, which is really okay. And this is perfect. Okay, so let me increase the scale a little bit. And yes, I think this is okay. So for us to be able to edit these, I'm going to go back to Vector, click on Image Trace, and I'm going to turn on my Before and After. I'm going to drag the threshold to the maximum and Curve Shift. I'm going to reduce it a little bit, then click on Apply. Yeah, this is it. We have a fully editable vector, so yeah, you can edit this, you can play around with it, and you can customize them. So, I kind of prefer this than using the Adobe Illustrator. Because the Adobe Illustrator actually runs on your processor. It runs on your GPU, and most times you don't get accurate results like this. So, let's try out this other one that has a text. 
you can see here uh, this resolution is really poor now i'm going to still use the canva ai because this is vector so i'm going to bring it on the canva ai go to the super revolve super resolve and you can see here uh, it loads so one thing i love about affinity is that um you can use this on a mid-range PC. You don't have to um, wait for a couple of minutes or up to an hour for it to load. So you can use this if you don't have a high GPU. So yeah, you can see the before and after. So let me increase this a little bit and click on Apply. So we're going to do the same step for we to be able to edit. It's go over to vector image trace and um let me see the before and after this let's drag this to the max and see what we get so it's quite okay now let me reduce this a little bit okay i'm found with the size and we reduce it okay and apply so yeah we can work on our network it's the vector we can work on the colors and work with the and edit the typography so this is one feature that i love so much so much about the affinity so let's go around with this and So yeah, so I love this feature so much. So let's try this last one out. So before we start by enhancing this. So let's look at the before and after. And let's scale this up a little bit. Click on apply. Then go back to vector image trace. And well, we got, got rid of the shadows. Um, pressured a little bit. This is pressured. And click on OK. So this is the result we got. So we can edit it. And edit it, you can play around with the... You can play around with the curves and so on. So this is one. So yeah, that is it for today's video. So if you like this video, can you give the video a thumbs up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you are new to this YouTube channel, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell not to miss amazing content like this. I'm Joseph from Josie Concepts. See you in my next video. Thank you.